Hi guys and welcome to your December 2021. This is going to be the me, you and us bonus for the beautiful sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. Hello. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good fam bands, hello to my members and my patrons. Shout out to my new members. I'm going to start to get a little bit better with shouting you guys out. I apologize. It's just been a lot going on. For all of you guys have, that have read the community tab um, and uh, put your well wishes up there for my little mini me, everything seems to be okay. Um, I was in urgent care with her Friday night that um, went into Saturday morning. So that was the reason why Capricorn should have been done. I had one video left and then hell broke loose. So thank you for your well wishes. Um, you know, one of the things that I definitely don't take for granted with this platform is having the power of prayer. And when I send out the call for you guys and your prayers and your well wishes, I always get that from you guys. And um, that's one of the beautiful things about having the platform to speak. So thank you guys. Uh, we were huddled up. Uh, me and my two children in the parking lot like a basketball team before they're about to go and play because, you know, every little thing can be misconstrued for that other thing. So, you know, we're in the we, we are in the parking lot huddled up, prayed up like, let's do this. Team Marvelous. Boom. So anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for that. This is the me, you and us bonus. Um, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, remember, everything that you need is below in the description box. Now, let's get started. But before we do that, let's pay a couple of bills. I want you guys to know if you're interested in the coldestwater.com. Go ahead and check that out below. They have the weekly um, giveaways. They also have uh, my affiliate link, which is below, which you already know. You can go ahead and go shopping, take advantage of their Christmas deals, and add that 10% discount um, on top of it um, that you will be um, entitled to for being my a part of a, a part of my tribe the the same way um, is for dossier fragrance now I actually happen to have one I don't want to spend too much of your time doing this but I have uh, if I can get this one from over here it you should see my desk I have my floral peony I don't even know which one this is supposed to be. But again, I shop by flowers and what I would like to smell like. The beautiful thing about it is, is this, these are beautifully, um, okay, hello, beautifully um, reproductions of, of, of fragrances. So go and check that out. I am the brand am, um, ambassador. Um, beautiful stuff, guys, I'm telling you. But anyway, barring that aside, if you're interested in doing that last minute Christmas presents, um, whatever they're offering you on their website as well. You can apply my um, affiliate link, go through the affiliate link and then add Marv Madame 10 um, and you'll get 10% off on top of what they're providing you with. You can use both of your discounts together. Now let's get started. Taurus, Taurus, and more Taurus. Our ruler, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is now officially asleep. With the full moon in Gemini that kicked off last night at 11.35 Eastern time, for me, it happened what was in what was considered the next day. Um, so I'm going to be delivering it in my time zone, which is officially this evening. I'm going to be going live. Uh, I say all the time that a full moon in Gemini resembles a Mercury retrograde because Communications are just haywire. Things are off the charts. It is all about communication. It is all about mercurial type of Gemini things. And things need to be ended, acknowledged, adjusted, or released. Period. A lot of us is hitting you in areas where it is affecting your money. Some of us, your family, you know, um, some of us, our relationships. And regardless of whether it's actually hitting you that way, it could be just hitting you that way, regardless of whether it's doing it um, from an astrologic perspective, because we all are affected. You are no exception to that. Okay. I'm going to be going live as well. 
and launching all of the channels with Venus and retrograde energy for each and every zodiac sign. You know you're first and Libra and Capricorn just because it is Venus is retrograde in Capricorn, but you and Libra are ruled by that planet. Now, there we go. So, right now, you are in the energy of solitude. You're spending time by yourself. You are in six, trying to balance things out in your own life. You don't got time to help. You don't got time to hinder. All you got time to do is do what you do best, Cap. Cap. Some of you guys are connecting with a Capricorn. Taurus. You're doing what you do best. Somebody, something, people, places, and things rub you the wrong way, rub us the wrong way. We have to come back and, and, and you know, you see that light, you're sitting out trying to recalibrate things. Some things may have been said. Right now, you're eliminating everything that no longer serves you, and you're putting Taurus first. Your romantic intentions are no ro romantic intentions. Your romantic intentions is to love yourself first because your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, regardless of, of, of whether this person who you just gave the, a pink slip to thinks so. Spiritually, this is where you are. Also, you know you have some big decisions to make, whether it be in relationships, whether it be where to live. This is affecting you. Every single 18 months, every other year, when Venus goes retrograde, you got big decisions to make. It doesn't matter necessarily how much it's affecting other people more so than your ruler is all jacked up and when it goes to sleep it 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 wreaks havoc um because that that planet is our beauty and our money you know it's venus and all other types of stuff in between you have to make a decision about something and you need to clearly decide what you want to do so it comes to you I believe that this is manifesting newness into your life, but which way do I go? If you're having a problem with struggling to release something, my beautiful bulls, then you need to book a reading, a quick reading. Because with you guys, collectively, we already know. I mean, I, I, it's no secret. I tell you guys all the time, a good majority of my clientele is earth signs. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that to say... That when you come to me, you're like, Marv, I already know what it is. Just go ahead and confirm it. Maybe you need a quick question. Book it. They're open. Phone readings are closed for the holiday. The other products are open. Text readings. Email readings. The tarot parties, which probably you can buy them now, but they probably won't be. We won't have the party until January. Um and your audio reading. So if you want to book a quick question, let's go. We're wide open. What do I need to do? This is this is what the situation is, Marv. What do I do? My intuition is telling me this. You just ask the question. Because you already know the answer, Taurus. You know it. Okay? And then at the top of the deck, some of you guys are consulting your friends. You're asking for and accepting support from others. You are uh, putting your business out there to people that you trust. You, you have a small circle. You keep it nice and small. Um, I know how you roll. Um, you can get the support, but you know that you've done the right thing. See, Taurus Collective, depending on what else is in your chart and where your Taurus is, from a Taurus sun perspective, um, especially if you have other Earth in your inner planets, you're not waiting for anybody to give you an answer. You make the decision typically, and then you'll talk it over. Depending on, again, where your Taurus is, that may vary slightly. But for the most part, you pretty much know what you're going to do. And when you're discussing it with your friends or people that you trust, you already have your mind made up. Your person right now is in the sana day. They, in the, in the energy of 21, 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, I've told you that this sana day energy is the absence of longing. If you see their fragmented. You have taken your energy back balancing your stuff. They feel like they can't grow because you're not in their life. That doesn't make me feel good. But again, I'm going to read to you exactly what this is. Now, we know that three represents a vibration of growth. They are in this sado J. It's the presence of absence. 
because this is longing, missing, desiring something that may not return. That's you. Finally coming to grips with the fact that you, you may be gone this time. It's a wrap. Trying to rent mentally prepare themselves to deal with this. Melancholic nostalgia. Try that on for size. Awareness and acceptance of something missing. Desiring something that never was. Yearning for someone or something that may not return in the distant future. Happiness from past memories and complex emotions. The Saldo J is a Portuguese origin and describes this energy, which is hard to capture in English terms. A puzzle of a beautiful sunset brings memories and nostalgia that can be seen even with a few pieces missing. The missing pieces represent the longing and awareness of something that is gone. The beauty of the sunset represents the ability to recognize and appreciate the experience. So this is where this person is. They're realizing that you're gone now. And, you know, you didn't pull your energy back for, 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 for them to do anything. You pulled your energy back and went into your place and probably told them that you need to put yourself first because you got tired of playing the game. OK, um, and so the message from spirit is unfinished business. So eight, nine, ten, done completion. For some of you, it will mean unfinished business for as a means of you two not having um, uh, being. As it pertains to you two possibly still having a chance to finish what you started. But for a good majority of you, it may mean the opposite. We'll find out when we get their romantic intentions what they really mean. Let them get over this because they have to fully understand that you're not a permanent fixture in their life, Taurus, if they're not going to do what they're supposed to do. Now, this could mean that you have unfinished business so low, do low. And maybe that's what you need to do. We're going to go ahead and get the message from spirit really quick. If I can find those cards, because I'll be moving stuff around. And now I don't know what I did with them. So, oh, they're right here in my face. So we're going to get the energy around these with the energy oracle, which I love. And find out what is actually supporting energetically these energies here. So you are like, I'm not dealing with you. It's a wrap. They're trying to accept it. Let them accept it. That's fine. That's what they get. Um, they're longing. And so what? I mean, you can long all you want. What are you going to do about it? That's not, That's on them. You know what I'm saying? You are in patience, peaceful presence, letting go of depression. You are making choices. You have some choices to make. One plus six is seven. You have uh, pulled your energy back and are spending time by yourself. You have this choice to make. You're trying to exercise your patience. There are some things that you manifested. They may not have come to you, Taurus Collective, the way that you want it. Now you may be releasing or attempting to put yourself first. Release what no longer serves you and keep it pushing. So now you can manifest the things that, that are for you back to you. The energy that you put out, you get back. We, you just don't know how, what way and shape and form it's going to manifest itself. So right now you are taking things one at a time, letting go anything that could have depressed you and made you feel some kind of way. And you are enjoying your peaceful presence alone. You are cool. Okay, the Soldo J is being, this person is welcoming or blossoming abundance. They want to increase their wealth and value. So this individual is definitely in the energy of growing. Um, and it could be that right now they have to focus on their money. Okay, they want to blossom in abundance, increasing wealth and value but sometimes that abundance is also finding a relationship so at the end of the day and i'm going to actually look at that you know they are missing and longing something but i feel like and of course here we go i feel like that <clears throat> says a lot 
So let's see. I'm interested. Um, yeah, they want to focus on the fruits of their labor. A golden, um, golden garden in the springtime with the coins of new flowers blossoming. They even hang like the fruit above in the tree. This is increasing wealth in a dramatic and unexpected way. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener grows in the ground and, and begins to see the blooming results take hold. The universe is going to start to help them to increase their value. Um, and so smell the flowers and tend to the new growth. But understand, this person just came out of whatever this is. In reverse, this is a decrease in money. Sometimes when you have the card in the position, it may feel as though cash is slipping through your fingers like water. Also, while it seems like an ongoing state of affairs, you can still turn it around. Be conscious and responsible where money is concerned. The cycle will end and you will in time enjoy the fruits of, their, of, of, of your labor. For some of you guys, this individual has not been able to be who they need to be for you because they've been too focused on money. And you didn't know that. And you had to pull yourself back towards because for you, when you, you just approach money a different type of way. So it could be that the majority in, of all of these issues for them has been money. And now they need to focus on how they're going to get themselves out of that because, oh, all right. Unfinished business is being clarified by journey. Movement relocation and travel so it looks like both of you guys are you have completely different things that you're focused on right now um and i feel like this is exactly what could have went wrong to begin with and maybe right now is just best so that blossom in abundance um i, I feel like they have had some real real and for um uh, situations with money as you can see, you guys are on two totally different pages. Um, energetically, they are on a paper chase. And they could have always been because they're just coming off of an energy where they can never get it together because of their own habits. The first romantic intention is happy ever after, okay? So, again, they're longing you, longing for you. And, wow, twin flames. Wow. Okay, spirit. All right, let's start to see. In the heart place, their romantic intention, two of them came out. Take the leap, have faith and trust in yourself, as well as the divine feminine, which they are coming through and saying that you are. Um, again, they want to grow. They are saying they never knew what was illusions from West Fantasy, and that could have been the reason why. I believe that their relationship to money has definitely caused some catastrophic things between you guys. Um, and again, I didn't just feel like this abundance had anything to do with just money. Um, they have they 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 want to grow. Abundance is not just about the coin. So I feel like right now they're realizing some things that you know you can't really miss what you never had. But I believe that in that abundant mindset, you just don't focus on money. According to their energy thus far, they're looking at, you know, really wanting to have a real relationship because they have faith and destiny that things will work out in the end. All right. We do have on a pedestal. Does this hurt or hinder? And then we do have childhood love. OK, so, wow, they have a lot going on here. So happy ever after twin flame. Take the leap. Div divine feminine. Um, illusion, what's fantasy from reality, faith and destiny on a pedestal or childhood love. That's where we stop this. So like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. We will unpack this and reverse in the main video and see what we got going on. This will be extended for purchase, which I normally announce in our main video. We'll find out what's going on. 
Um, this is what it is, but I don't think it's going to be this cut and dry. See you there. Bye, Taurus.